Now I'm going to introduce myself. So I'm Crew, and I'm here to promote my book, The Joy Fast Book. Where is the book? I have my publishers send it to you. You should have it. Well, I don't have it. Well, that's so good, though. I shouldn't have a drunk time to be my publisher. It still holds something. Like I said, I don't have any gold there. Oh, I get it. Since I mentioned dogs in the book, you want me to hold this as a reference, right? No. I just want you to hold it. So, the boy fizzle. What is it? The boy fizzle, my nizzle. Um, but the boy fad bug. Stands for get over your fear and stop being afraid. It's a quirky little synonym in my thought. You mean an acronym? That's what I said. No, you said synonym. Oh, I did? Oh, my fault. So, actually, can you hold the time? Do I have to hold this the whole time? Yes. Oh, God, you're taking a pot face. So, what caused you to create this prostate? Hold on. Dogs don't have prostate, do they? Anyway, um, I would see my friends and the fears that they had would hinder them from certain things. I didn't want them to miss out on opportunities just over something so simple. You seem like Anyway, can you talk about a time you helped out a friend from the book? Uh, yeah, so I helped out a friend who was a cynophobe. What's that? It's cynophobia is the fear of dogs. So his name was Ian, and my best friend Danielle and I, we got partnered with him for his last project. We became acquaintances then, but we wanted to get to know each other better. So we invited him over to my house, and that's when we found out about his fear. So it's getting this day. <laughs> What's up, man? Welcome to my home. Chris, what are you doing? The Goy Fazba process. Get over your fear and stop being afraid. It works. Trust me. We barely know each other. Why should I trust you? I've done this two other times. Ask Danielle. Danielle. Hmm. Oh, yeah, he helped me get over my fear of animal crackers. What? That's part of the process. That sounds so aggressive. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. He didn't do anything. Um, who is the expert here? Excuse me? Yes, you. Like I was saying. <laughs> oh, take these. Chris? <clears throat> No, let me go. Get it away, Chris. No. Are you serious? It's a freaking movie, Ian. I don't care. <laughs> okay, Danielle. What you got? Um, to overcome your fear of dogs, you must become like one. Now, by reading your book, it's hard to understand the part. Do you mind... Showing us what happened there. Now bark. What? Bark. Roof. Woof. Roof. Woof. Roof. Louder, you wimp. Woof. Roof. Woof. Roof. Woof. 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 Roof. You're a Doberman Pinscher, not a Chihuahua. Louder. Woof. Roof. Woof. Roof. Woof. Roof. It was priceless. You did not really do that, did you? Yeah, we did. Danielle was right. You have to become like a dog to get over your fear. Well, that it appears that you took that idea one step too far. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Good, right? Mmm. <laughs> it worked, didn't it? You want to answer that recent complaint that you received? No comment. What do you hear? 
come. <laughs> Funny you said how. Nothing. <laughs> I'm not, nope. Well, I guess your good old drunken aunt was good for something. Good one? The hell is Oh, hell no! Why are you so new? Why do you fear Pinata? The whole thing they symbolize. They're made to look like animals or humans, and their guts are candy. That's messed up. Well, I guess the teacher becomes the student. Look at your girlfriend. 